Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save my master mold assembly. And I'm going to go ahead and close now these other files because I don't really need them open. Let's go ahead and maximize this. And now let's play around with this. If I look at these two core and cavity blocks, they're two different actual parts in there. And maybe what I want to do is I want to face them together because it looks like they have a common parting surface back here. So what I'm going to do is manipulate these coordinate systems. I'm going to rotate them about Z in 90 degree increments until I get them the way I want them facing. Now we have those lined up nicely. And they can even stay as individual blocks for now, that's fine. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to tell Top Mold that these parts exist as core and cavity blocks. So to do that, we're going to go to the Management pull-down menu to a function called Affectation. In Affectation, you have a choice. You can describe something as a slide, an insert, or as a core and cavity block. And I'm going to use the core and cavity block function. Now, Element to Affect as Cavity Block. I'm going to select this one first. Now it's asking me here for the core and cavity block coordinate system. And I'm going to use that coordinate system right there. Now it's asking what the core block is. I'm going to select the core block. Now it's asking if there's a tool shape. Now, you can predefine a tool shape here. This would just be another solid model that the system would use during the process. The solid model could be just an extrusion that's the height of both blocks. It can have fillets on it for the corners or whatever. Or you can just say, no tool. And then it'll take it a second because it's now adding this into the database. Once it's done, we can do it again. Let's go core cavity block again. We're going to add this one using this is the core and cavity block zero. And that's the core block for that. And again, we're going to say no tool. And the elements are in there now. So I can hit quit. If we go look in mold visualization, you'll now see under block you have two core blocks and two cavity blocks. If I turn my cavities off and hit apply, there you go.